So I'm getting ready to leave Adobe, and I'm going to share the programs I chose to replace it and maybe commiserate a little bit. So for the past six months, I have set my mind to figuring out how to move away from using the Adobe software, and I am not ready to do that yet. I have some ongoing projects that are still using some of their software, but I want to get out of it. And I've set myself up with a budget of one year, one year's worth of Adobe membership to replace their software. Now, for those who don't know and haven't been following this, Adobe has been slowly, steadily, and consistently making bad choices. Some of the biggest issues that we have are they're very expensive. You cannot choose the software you want to use without paying a premium for the ability to choose. They try to force you to use their cloud by making it difficult to save without stepping around it or changing some settings. And they've made canceling very difficult for people. They will give you a fee. They will play all sorts of games on the phone when you're trying to. Well, they're being sued by the Federal Trade Commission. So that tells you how bad it is because the Federal Trade Commission does not move very quickly. So you have to be doing the wrong thing for a while to get their attention. And I've been frustrated with some of their design choices. I've been really angry that some of the software, especially Premiere, hasn't been fixed and tends to crash on a regular basis. But now I'm really just sad. And I'm sad because I remember how great it was. I got Adobe 5.5, not CS 5.5, 5.5 back in 1999. That was my first Photoshop and it was glorious. The ability to use layers and selections and masks, blending modes, Gaussian blur. I still remember when I first applied Gaussian blur and the image went all out of focus. That was the first time I had ever been able to do that on my computer. Now Gaussian Blur is everywhere. All sorts of programs use it. But back then, it was like magic. And I learned so much just by using it. I liked it so much that I went on to teach people Adobe for over 10 years. But because I was in with Adobe for those 10 years, I watched them move to the CS versions from one to the next and eventually go to the subscription service. I used to recommend that my students would go and find one of the physical media copies of the software rather than getting a membership if the membership seemed too pricey. So why am I talking about this now if I'm still mid-process in getting rid of Adobe? This is the last video I'm gonna edit using Adobe Premiere. I have purchased Final Cut Pro along with Motion and Logic Pro to replace Premiere, After Effects, and Audition at a cost of $550, but it's a single cost. Although I've chosen to go with Final Cut from Apple, I have heard about DaVinci Resolve, which is free, and nobody seems to have a bad thing to say about it. It's something that I do want to use at some point, but I've always wanted to learn Final Cut, and I actually learned Final Cut in college a long time ago. So there's a part of me that really wants specifically Final Cut. For Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign, I'm replacing it with the Affinity Design Suite, which cost $165. The total cost that I've paid so far for the software that I intend to buy, one-time purchase, $715. The Adobe yearly fee at $60 before tax is $720. I think what I really want is for Adobe to be what I remember feeling they were at the turn of the century. And that's not going to happen. They lost their crown. And in an age where there's more software than we know what to do with, they'll never get it back. So goodbye, Adobe. It was fun while it lasted. And hello to all of the new software makers that make great tools for people to do great work at a fair price with no BS. Here's to working with you.
Anyway, thanks for watching. If you subscribe, you'll find more of my videos. And if you hit the bell icon, maybe some of those videos will find you. Do you have a relationship with Adobe? Are you going to get rid of them? When was your first version of Photoshop? Let me know in the comments below. Take care.